I am starting a new project. Early Christmas present for myself. What could it be? At the end of 2022, me and Layla flew back home to the UK for Christmas and, as they say, it really was the most wonderful time of year. It's the most wonderful time of the year. It was lovely to catch up with all my friends, family, eat some great foods, and I bought myself a present. Ta -da! A film camera. A Canon A1. I know, I know what you're thinking, like the, the world really doesn't need another nearly 30 something creative white dude like, oh, I'm a creative, I only shoot film. But hear me out, in my career as a filmmaker, photography has taken a backseat, like that's kind of natural, you know, I'm, I'm a one man band, I have to prioritise and usually that means like I'm always focused on getting the shots in terms of filmmaking. But photography has always been a hobby of mine, you know, it's, it's why I first picked up a camera because I loved to take photos. Like back in 2013, so 10 years ago, I was uh, shooting photos with my iPhone 5, that's how I originally got into photography and it, you know, it all snowballed from there. <laughs> I used to go around like Leeds where I was at university and just take photos of the city. So I have really been meaning to get back into it and like sometimes I look back at recent trips and I'm like fuck. There's no photos, there's just, there's not enough photos. I, I have been making more of a conscious effort, like maybe in the past year, to take more photos. Um, so I've got an amazing phone camera. This is the Huawei P30 Pro. So shout out to Xi Jinping, he's listening right now. Love you bro. Uh, the Huawei P30 Pro is a fantastic camera. Like I've genuinely snapped some really great photos with this that I'm quite proud of. And it's nice because I always have this camera with me. But this little bad boy, this little setup here, this is kind of, the next step. Um, when I was on a trip with one of my best friends, Ben, we were in Nepal, he had a Canon AE-1 and he was shooting with that. And I was like, fuck, that's really cool. Like some of the photos he was getting was so nice. And I was like, fuck, I kind of want one. So actually it's kind of, it's all Ben's fault really. What a good sound. <laughs> Very pleasing. So pleasing. <laughs> The other thing that plays on my mind is, I'm sure some of you know this because I've spoken about it before, I am pretty inconsistent with my uploads on this channel. Uh, I don't know if you noticed. <laughs> yeah, the stuff that I'm making, I'm really proud of, but it does take time. So I've been kind of like toying with how do I upload a bit more frequently, you know? How do I get some more videos out whilst I'm working on the bigger stuff, like these big travel series that I tend to do. Uh, and I think this is it. It's basically just a much more chilled out, laid back, relaxed, kind of like a vlog, I guess. Um, it's not too much effort on my behalf, but hopefully you get to see a bit more of what I'm up to here in Lombok and on my travels, and hopefully you enjoy watching. And if you don't, then yeah, fuck. Like, I've got nothing else to give, so. <laughs> so. Got this Canon A1, which is basically the most stereotypical, like, oh my God, I'm gonna start shooting film camera. This is the thing that everyone gets. I've got one, two lenses. And yeah, I thought the, the best way to, to get stuck into this was, um, I went skiing with my mates in January. So I was like, right, I'll, I'll shoot a roll and just, you know, get to grips with the camera. I headed to the airport, you know, started snapping away and just figuring out the camera, documenting the trip. And after a couple of photos, I realized, hang on a minute, like this, this thing, I'm not gonna bore you with how film cameras work, by the way. Like, basically, there was a problem with the camera. It wasn't working properly. And I quickly realized that my very first roll, I had fucked it up. Classic. I was like, I was on the train and like, I opened it off and basically ripped the roll of film out because my, my fingers are so fat and I have no dexterity and basically, yeah, I just fucked it. And I was on the train like, fuck. Sorry, mom, if you're watching, I know you don't like me swearing. <laughs> I was just pissed off. I was like, how have I done this? And then, you know, the train had set off to the airport and I was just like, great. You know, it's like, fantastic, great start. And then I remembered a couple of weeks earlier, I had gone for a pint with my best mate, Ben, and he was the one who showed me how to load the film into the camera. All right, it's in there. Yeah. And then what? And wind it on one, yeah. See if it catches. 
Like that? Yeah, settle it in, that's fine, keep going. He was him. It's Ben's fault again. You're on zero now and you've got one loaded. Yeah. So I can't remember, to be honest. I, uh, yeah. Thanks, Ben. Anyway, by sheer luck, I get to the airport and they have one roll of film left. I don't know if you realise, but there are digital cameras these days. So film cameras kind of like got phased out. It's kind of rare to find film in like a random uh, boots store in the airport. But there it was, I found a roll of film. I was like, it's black and white. Okay, great, I'll just chuck that in and we'll, we'll just work with it. Because the whole idea of this first roll was just to get to grips with the camera. So yeah, took a few uh, snaps on this trip and as you can tell, they're all shit. I did quite like this one. This was nice, like uh, quite gangster. But you can tell I'm really sort of getting to grips with things and figuring out how this works because they're all, yeah, they're pretty much dog shit. The ski trip itself was phenomenal. Like, absolutely loved it. Push, push, push. Push, push, push. Push, push, push. Fucking yes, mate. Oh, Yo! Oh. Mate. We went to uh, Val Thorens in France and it was just magnifique. I can't believe I just did that. It was magnifique though. Um, oh God, I hate myself. Why did I do that? Didn't actually get any snaps with this camera on the slopes because I was terrified if I put it in my backpack and crashed and you know, like break my brand new toy. And I did, did crash quite a bit. Crashed a lot. <laughs> Actually, dislocated one of my friend's shoulders, but I still have PTSD about that, so we won't go into it. And then, yeah, when I, when I got back to Liverpool in the UK before coming back here, I finished that roll just snapping as I went. And there's one or two that I do really like. Um, this one on the River Mersey, I, I'm quite, I quite like that. Not bad, you know. Uh, and this one is my absolute favourite. This is my uncle and cousin from uh, Australia. They were visiting. And that is a fucking good photo. That's good photo. So yeah, here I am. I'm, I'm back in Lombok. I know that I'm uploading this in like June, which is, you know, Christmas is a long time ago. But I've been busy on my travels and I've been taking this thing with me. And that is the plan. In between these travel series that take a long time, I'm going to hopefully start sharing some more vlogs with you, I guess. Yeah, vlogs. I guess they're vlogs. I don't know. I hope you enjoy them. I'm going to put one out very soon. It's where me and Layla go cycling on a little trip down to a place called Ampanan. Thank you for continuing to, to be here and check out what I'm up to and watching my stuff. Sorry that I am inconsistent. But yeah, the stuff I'm working on is I'm really proud of. And hopefully this little thing, this new project that I'm distracting myself with, hopefully you enjoy it. I'll see you soon. Oh yeah, I'm so creative. Like, there's just something about shooting film, yeah? Like, once you've started, you just can't believe, I look at my digital photos, I just can't believe that I ever, it's disgusting. Makes me, makes me sick. Yeah, I'm so creative.